Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's a and Brews with uh, Amy on the painters and Stella on camera. Oh, she's going to come over and say hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're at the uh, taste part, the bit you've all been waiting for, but I've been waiting for it too because I'm quite excited about this. So this, just to recap, is a Mangrove Jacks American Pale Ale off Amazon for less than 30 quid, um, split into four, boosted up with some uh, malt extract, 100 grams of that, just to give it an extra bit of body because splitting it into four can sometimes be a bit, bit weak. So what we did was the blue painter was just brewed normally and then in true painter to fashion, we cheated and we bought a bottle of Hop Notch off Painter for six pounds, a bit expensive, but hey-ho, which has grapefruit and passion fruit. Those should offset it, so the grapefruit's actually quite sort of bitter, uh, passion fruit would be quite sweet, and yeah, definitely, definitely smelled, smelled a bit like winter sun sort of additive, but very, very nice. And also then, in this Painter too, we tried to hop it, so we brewed it as normal. Once it had nearly finished, got to about 85% attenuation, both of them, um, we then took the dock off. Now, I didn't film it at the time and I'm glad that I didn't. So, <laughs> these docks hold approximately 250 milliliters of liquid. So I put the, just like I have here, I put the hot pellets in and added water. Now, luckily enough, the first time, it actually settled out quite quickly so that all the gunk was at the bottom of this. And literally all I did was, on dock, poured the contents out down the sink, added just off the top because I had separated out the hop tea into the dock. I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to dirty this. Uh, added it, then just topped up the water, plopped the uh, painter tube back on it. It sealed okay, there was no issues with that at all. It's quite easy to do. I know some guys we do it top down anyway when they're docking it, so uh, then I thought I might agitate it ever so slightly which was a bit of a mistake because obviously if you've got something that was sitting around sort of 32 PSI in this one, when it uh, agitated it, spat beer out the back of the PRV. So uh, hopefully it has it managed to infuse. There wasn't a huge amount of beer loss, but uh, yeah, I'm glad it wasn't done on film. So to the, to the important part, folks, uh, here we go. So uh, yeah, it's pouring okay, that's good. This is the one with, we also, because I'd added the, the contents of uh, the jar with all the hop tea in it, I did cold crash this outside for a couple of nights, just hopefully let it all settle down into the dock and become clear and yeah, still a bit, yeah, definitely. Uh, not totally clear yet. Uh, it's carbonated, looks okay. Hmm. I'm getting a few bits or something. See what you think of that. I hope it doesn't taste no, like what that looks like. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't taste like what. Yeah, I mean, it's. You can. I get a wee bit of hoppiness off. Yes, there's a. There's a Bit that's, that. that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. So yes, it does work. Yeah, I'll take this one. You take that one. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, see that Stella's made off of that one. We're going to try the one that we took the, right, the first bit. The first bit out of it's always quite, quite fizzy, hence why I've got spare glasses. So yeah, that again is pouring. Pouring fine, and this one looks to be a bit gassier than the other one. Definitely a bit more head on it, and oh, you can really see the fizz. Yeah, this mm. it's definitely more carbonated that, and it's ever so slightly clearer. It'll probably clear over a couple of days, a couple of extra days conditioning maybe. I think it's going to be done for five, but that's, you know, you can smell the, you can definitely smell more hops off that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Which doesn't surprise me. Which one do you like better? <clears throat> Whoa! Ooh, that's quite. <laughs> that's quite bitter, guys. That's whoa. Definitely. What's that, getting, what's that one again? That's the one with hop notch in it. That's that is hopping, and definitely getting way more grapefruit than I'm getting passion fruit. That's. I think that might grow on you a bit after it's one or two, but the initial I because. Really like stuff, yeah, you don't really like it. It was definitely quite a <clears throat> quite tart. Smell. Smells nice. Um, if you like your hoppies, hoppy beers, that's. Mm, well, you do taste a bitter aftertaste. Yeah, but I think that's going to be a grower because it's quite bitter after that one. Yeah, yeah. I think after the after the second second third small bass, <laughs> not pint. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm quite happy the way it's turned out. It's definitely mm. you. I mean, we were getting readings of about four point eight percent ABV with avenue to malt extract, so that's that's a good healthy. It's a good mouthfeel on it. It's not watery at all. No. So yeah, uh, if you are going to brew kits in your pinter like we did with our last one, definitely add the malt extract. It enhances uh, the quality of the beer. And maybe you could note the instructions down below. Guys, just need to follow the video. I know, but some. I know. So yeah, obviously the easy way to do it is to cheat uh, and use use a hopper bottle. But at six quid each, there that fairly puts the price up. But still, still probably works out cheaper than buying a kit. So yeah, that's settled out. But the other one settled out better. Guys, thanks for watching. So yeah, any questions or any comments, stick them down down below, and add a stell, or I will get back to you. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and enjoy your beers.